asking if I'm at home or alone I just tell him I'm just getting in my zone With a couple folks in order to get it done Listen, got one, handles hard like it's easy Never get a sense of club for the praise Hello, yet again, you already know what's up, you know what's up, it's you know what's up, it's Sleep the Poet, Uncle Les, and KR212 uh, down there copying my orange head gear today, but that's cool, it's fine, he he, he ain't original, uh, and we're here with one hitter spitter, wheat and potatoes, is it an album? No. Is it a single? No. Wait a minute, I can't look this busted to talk about what the fuck we're about to talk about, let me go put on a goddamn hat. So you hold on. You you've been here for four minutes and fifty seconds, and <laughs> you just now all of a sudden want to straighten up. No, he he just started looking at his tape line. He was like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> but why you do, why you look cross eyed? <laughs> Kiki Palmer's boyfriend isn't too uh, particularly happy about. Um, uh, this said incident that happened at a Las Vegas Usher concert. Um, and I know you guys are used to us covering music, but actually, both of these people do music, and uh, it's actually, uh, uh, you know, I think it's, I name, think it's a good, I think no, it's a good perspective. No, name two Kiki Palmer songs. Well, hey, 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 which is uh, I say, I I say, and uh, and and uh, and what? No, no, that's uh, not true. Before, uh, Hugh, Jackson, Hugh Jackson's VP, Hugh Jackson's uh, VP song, and um, wow, she used to sing in um, she used to sing in um, in Broadway. She sang Broadway shows for for a while. And let's be real here; she's talented. She she very much so can sing. She can go. I never I never would question if she could actually sing or not. I've never um, heard a Kiki Palmer song in my life. Oh, I've just only yeah. heard her. Uh, I'm about to say I've only heard her do. Uh, she did. She has a Disney Channel song. I'm almost certain of. Um, you've heard, then, you've heard, you've heard, you've heard one, Brian. I know you have. What song is that? Uh, you remember when you used to be really into Little Booty Girls? Yes. Yeah, it was a song that came out about Little Booty Girls, and it was by Kiki Palmer. Little Booties right. Matter. Yep. How's it go? I forgot. Of course. Um. Well, as you guys know, uh, both these two are part of the, uh, you know, the let's just call it the entertainment culture. So. Uh, they've right. done uh, singing and stuff like that. She's more of an actor, you know, actress, and he's Usher. You know, everybody knows Usher. He's amazing. If y'all don't know anything about uh, concert series um, and the most prominent or potentially the most wild, also the uh, the best uh, showcase of talent is when towards like the quote unquote end of your career. I'm not saying this end of Usher's career in my opinion, but a lot of artists get a chance to go to Vegas, and Vegas is where you kind of just show everyone. Hey, I'm the absolute shit. We've we done we've done a lot of concerts in our time period, and we've seen quite a few different things throughout the uh, the peaceful ones where they're really really quiet, like a literal concert, like a you know classical music and stuff like that, to uh, bars and um, parties, literally. So we've pretty much seen the entire spectrum from everyone being sober to everyone being entirely blasted and drunk. So very wholesome stuff and very sexual things. And uh, we just want to know what uh, everyone thinks of this video right here of Miss Kiki Palmer and Usher on stage. So without further ado, oh, 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 Kiki Palmer. There's two things about her that we got to talk about. She has a boyfriend currently. I think in this video, she had a boyfriend currently during this time period. I don't know if they're together anymore. And she is now, if you don't know, recently a mother. So without further ado, Usher's residency in Vegas, Kiki Palmer. What do you say? How do you say? Action. Yeah. the clip uh I, you know what's crazy i didn't see the clip in its entirety until this morning 
And that last part, I, I was like, oh, I didn't know she did that. That's that's interesting. Uh, I got a couple of things. Um, number one, I I am so glad that I just learned something. Number one, I think people should really hear what people are saying about a story from multiple angles, multiple emotional circumstances before they watch something. For one very simple reason that I just learned. It made me watch it and look for everything that everybody said. That outfit. That is some Vegas hoochie mama outfit. If you don't belong to nobody, you belong to the streets. I think the streets ain't got no dress code. It don't matter. And from my understanding, she's not married. And also, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think that's necessarily her her actual boyfriend. I thought I heard someone say that that's just her baby dad. And they're cool with each other. They're cordial. I, I don't think they're still committed to each other. That's what I've heard. Now, if that part is true, not committed to each other, then yeah, uh, she's for the streets. She's supposed to let everyone know she's for the streets. Uh, if she is with that nigga, she wanted that nigga to know, I don't give a damn. Every, everyone's calling him her boyfriend. Now, we don't know what's up. Now, I just assume, and this is a horrible assumption, that if you have a baby with somebody, then you at least went together in some sort of regard. Um, but it's Kiki Palmer. Um, I saw a whole bunch of pictures of them together. So they was either publicly having relations and, and being very relative to each other or, or I, I don't know, a situation ship that came with a baby. I don't know. Any public confirmation, but they have been dating since uh, 2021. So I guess we can just leave it as they've been publicly saying that they've been dating. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Hey, you, you're dating this person until... You say something else. Listen, when it when it comes to them two, um, how you like your woman to dress is up to you. Um, and since he went so far to go on Twitter and say it, that I'm assuming he never liked it, or, or at least he had a new change of heart. And let's say that he didn't talk to her about it. Then you wrong, dog. Let's say you did talk to her about it. You still wrong, dog. What you going on Twitter for talking to this girl outside of your net like that? That's a private conversation. Now, now that we got that out the way, so all you women don't get mad at me, a singer comes up to you, and we can all relate to this, comes up to you and starts singing to you. It's your birthday, da 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 He didn't have to walk up to you. You scurried your ass up to him, grabbed him by the back of his neck, and started dancing with this nigga. And then when y'all got done with your little moment and started started singing together, you turned around and looked back at it. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? And I'm not even saying Usher wants you. Because that baby weight been nice to you. You do look a lot better. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I uh, you don't comment on that. That baby weight did her good. Did it real good. It did her real good. If you are committed to somebody in any way, shape, or form. Unless if y'all have previously talked about it, there's not anything that y'all could just take for granted like that, you know, outside of respecting each other. That's about it. So you must have thought that it was completely okay and respectful to go up all and grind up on Usher with your ass cheeks out. And everybody's like, she can wear what she wants. She a grown woman. When mothers can't wear stuff like this. No. It's called Hoochie Mama, not Mama. She got that baby weight on her, and she was like, oh, I got to let the world know. And, that, and that's what it does. And you look good. You also look single. Single as hell. Oh, I'm, in, I'm insecure? No, I got boundaries. Because let, let me go to a Suki with a good Coochie concert. Let me just go, let me just go <laughs> and get behind that. Wearing a tight T-shirt and my gray sweatpants. Dick print all out for the world to see. Let's do that. Oh, we cool? No? I'm a father. All right. Kiki Palmer is a pers- is a famous personality, actress, singer, all that kind of stuff. So 
if it's part of her career, this part of her marketing, like get more pizzazz, like it's supposed to be in spotlight. Yo, that's her job. You need to respect her job. Now, what does respect mean? It means you should acknowledge it and you should know what comes with it. So if she let, let him know, like, hey, I'm going to be out here looking like I'm for the streets. Are you cool with that? And he said, cool. He a punk. And then let's talk about it. Now, if he's not cool with that and she didn't talk to him about it, then that is just, he's upset and he's very fair to get right. Again, you can be as right as you want to be to get wrong. You go on to Twitter like a little punk. And I was like, bro, you, you tripping. I think both of them are dead wrong. He shouldn't have been messaging nothing. Uh, she should be looking more like a lady. And that baby is in trouble because that little baby is going to have one day where they're like, hey, bro, your mama had a fatty back in the day, bro, and she was for Usher. Your mama was for the streets and she wasn't married. Your mama was a hoe back in the day, bro. Look, your mama was a hoe. Look at her. For all the ladies out there that want to defend Kiki, I just want to say this. Uh-oh. You took him off. If he looked like a dog, he barked like a dog, and he dances on stage with women like he a dog. Y'all call him a dog, right? Well, guess what? If she on stage dressed like a hoochie, if she dancing on another nigga like she's a hoochie, Preach. and if she is dressed exactly on this stage with said nigga like a hoochie, it's not classic. Well, I'm gonna believe her. I'm gonna believe her. So, ladies, I'll just ask this: Did she look like a respectable? wife candidate, good mother in that moment. Would you tell your daughters, yeah, this right here, that's being a good that's being a good wife. Oh, you want to get married? Now get them. If I rolled up anywhere in public with my pants sagging and three gold teeth in my mouth, a tattoo on my face and a do-rag on and somebody said, hey bro, what's going on with you? He's like, I'm a father. Is everybody like, yeah. Awesome. You probably a good daddy. No. You think I got now my you might be. I might be. But what but you do you part? I don't look the part. I look I, I, I look like NLE Chopper. I don't I look I look like Kodak Black. Does Kodak Black look like a father to you? No, he don't. But he is a father. I know. Does he look a good one to you? As in, if you were to take a picture of Jamie Foxx and Kodak Black, and you're like, which one of these is the best father? Who in the hell is picking Kodak Black? If you really think about it, please take this lightly. Please take this lightly. Kiki Palmer is low-key the female Jamie Foxx. So, wait, I, I want to make sure I got it right. I want to make sure I got it right. Um, Jamie Foxx was Ray. Leslie, we're not. No, no, explain it a little bit better for me, please. All girl. I'm saying, as a as a person that is a, a, a Renaissance woman, a person that is a, of main talent, she does everything she does. She does uh, pretty well. I'd say okay, Nick Cannon, uh, Kiki Palmer, same thing. Because uh, Nick Cannon is 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 a Renaissance man. Nick Cannon, Kiki Palmer. Let's just say that it is. Well, LL Cool J is also is also an actor too. So is so is Ti. So is Ludacris. But we, but we're not doing that because we know what's up. We're not doing these things. I think Ti's acting career is, is pretty hilarious because he's just Ti in all of his movies. That's that's. But he that, should be. Uh, do you see how one is actually one is one is trying and the other person is just being themselves? You're right. You're right. Ti are just being themselves. Kiki Palmer is actually trying. She's she's definitely a better actress than both of those two. You can't put them in the same category. She, I see what you're saying. Speak out. She speak out <laughs> she's she actually young. trying to achieve something in these movies. So she all I'm saying is, I'll, I'll put Nick Cannon and Kiki Palmer, same thing of Renaissance. That's that's their type of thing. They both failed horribly to me in music. But if someone, no, Nick Cannon can't rap at all. But um, let's just, let's just move forward. Let's just move forward. <laughs> I just believe in... um. 
I believe in thinking about others before thinking about yourself a lot of times, because if you think about yourself, that's very easy to do. It's very easy to think about yourself because you're with yourself all the time, whether it's in a secure way or an insecure way, a, a very self-improvement way or a self-deprecating way. Either way, you, you're always with yourself. So thinking about yourself is one of the easiest things you can possibly do. Um, when you're required to think about somebody else, it becomes immediately a, uh, a sacrificial way of life. Like you have to know that, hey, there's a part of my character or a part of who I am in this moment when I deal with other people, I have to kind of, you know, chill back on because just because I have these thoughts or I have these ideals doesn't mean that everyone knows, them, you know what I'm saying, for what I'm talking about. That's how you kind of develop a relationship with somebody. I mean, like, hey, this is kind of how I am. This is kind of how I am. Those differences and things like that create a healthy relationship when you can talk about these things and then you decide to say, let's move forward in our relationship romantically by accommodating each other, by doing certain things. Um, this, to me, is a clear instance where these two people have not had conversations about what the other one actually thinks about public appearance. Because when I look at something like this, I'm just like, oh, well, yeah, she's 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 wild and she's off the chain. Like. I'm sorry, like there's no scenario in life where booty cheeks being seen through any see-through or no see-through where it's okay. If you can tell me the scenario besides being a stripper, then have at it. Just because you have the um, the ability to do something does not mean you should exercise that said ability whenever you'd like. That's the whole part about being an actual adult. And this child is going to have to exist on this earth where they say, hey, I can see that your mom was doing some hoochie mom stuff. Your mom a hoe. And that could be said out of these kids' mouth. And the other thing they're saying is your dad's insecure. And unfortunately, when a man is insecure and they have children, their children are looked at as targets. As in, this is an opening for me to say something bad about you, even if the thing is true or not. You two are not thinking about the kid. There's no way you are because you're arguing publicly on social media. That's dumb. You shouldn't be talking to her like that. And you're out here showing your booty cheeks. Let me tell you, she corny. As soon as she started getting her name in the air for this junk, she started doing TikTok dances about it. She's selling shirts saying I am a mother and stuff like that. She's that's singing- very corny. That's very corny behavior. She's- no, no, she no, no, oh, yeah, she did. No, for real. no, no, that's for, no, real. That's for real. She's singing songs. Uh, Usher songs. She let it burn. Arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she corny, bro. Kiki Palmer, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You are no longer by yourself. And you need to stop acting like you're by yourself. Grow up. Stop doing what you're doing. Think about everyone else before you think about yourself. You're a mother. You're a selfless creature already. You're a selfless human creation already. That's what it is. Fathers, you need to actually care for your woman. Because you are also a selfless creature as soon as you have one. As soon as you have a woman by your side, you instantly have to become selfless. You have to. I am just very upset that every time things like this happen in the media, we have to look at both sides of the situation. And don't get it twisted. I get it. You have to look at both sides of the situation. I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. But yo, yo, this man addressed her on social media. Again, bitch shit. Extremely, of course. She wore that outfit and was grinding up yeah. with Usher. And then yeah, yeah. Respectful. made a Absolutely. TikTok about it. And then tried to sell merchandise about it. And then yeah. started singing songs about it. And then reposted the picture. Yo, come on now. Somebody off the chain here. Somebody, somebody beat a bitch. Somebody is looking for smoke. I believe that most of the time when you're doing things like that, you double down on a toxic situation. Like you dancing with another grown man. I don't care if he's I don't care if he's Usher. I don't care if he's Bill Gates. I don't care if he's Jesus. You have no right to be dancing with another man that ain't your man. You gonna let Jesus dance with your girl? No. Jesus wouldn't dance with my girl. Cause Jesus that's is respectful. Yeah, like, like, even that's respectful. He's just like, hey, just a dance. I see. I see. You 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 you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. I see what's going on here. Are you letting Jesus Christ 
dance with your girl. Does it matter what color he is? What if he's white? Like like the way Kiki was dancing with, with Buddy? Yeah. Nah, that ain't that ain't right. Not even black you, Jesus. Nah, that ain't that ain't right. That's crazy. If Lotto came to me and she pulled me on stage and she tried to do all that freaky shit and throw it back and everything like that, respectfully, I would have to just be like. You feel me? That's just respect. what do you mean? What do you, that that, that looked like you was taking it. Oh no, I'm backing up. I'm sorry. You might wanna you might wanna, you might wanna clarify. I'm not touching nothing, I'm not looking like I'm having a good time. I'm like, I'm not trying to make this a viral TikTok video on you right now, but you just picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. Now, but then it's like, how did I get on stage in the first place? Nah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not cool. Thirty-seven missed calls on my phone. Asking if I'm messing with I just tell him I'm just getting in my zone with a couple folks who know to get it done. Listen, got one handles hoes like it's easy. Never get a six club for the priest. Day one got me famous on the ground up. Got another who stayed up in Vandal. Popping bottles with my best friend. Rolling loud with my best friend. I pull a crowd with my best friend. Like a minute, I'm moving.